Ladies and gentlemen, decided to bring in one of my own personal axes today, and I'll tell you why here in just a minute. This is the first generation Kramer Beretta. Some call it the Holy Grail. I call it awesome. I'm going to tell you all about it and some details about it. After this, let's rip So we got in this brand new, brand new, brand new, got in this brand new Kramer 1984 here behind me, which we just finished the video on, unless you're seeing this one first or the other one first. Oh, it doesn't matter. We just did a video on that. And I was laying in bed today before my, before my morning, uh, you know, thought session. I was thinking to myself, I'm going to be doing this video today. It's 1984 Kramer. It's going to be pretty cool. Maybe I should bring in mine. The original, one of the original 1984s. So that's what I did. So this, some folks call it the Holy Grail. Uh, this was uh, one of, I th I, no one knows exactly, but less than 250 made, I, I believe. First gen Beretta. Uh, some were made in late 83, some were made in early 84. No way to tell, very few, I guess, apparently, according to George Felice. What up, George? I should give you a shout out all the time, man. Thank you so much for everything you do for the Kramer community, and you did. Anyway, says that not very many of them were 1983, and it's almost physically impossible to prove which ones were 83 and 84. They're all the same run. So I'm just going to say first-gen Beretta. Maple body. This thing weighs a ton. Oh, it's like one of those really old Les Pauls that just it hurts your back. Every time you put it on, you're like, why am I doing this? But that's what I'm doing. These were known for being a very, very wide neck. Super wide. Uh, neck on these uh, almost like a classical guitar like one and three quarter or something crazy on these completely unfinished neck they put no finish on these from the factory they oiled them i think i think uh with some tongue oil but oh it just feels like it's been played for i don't know something like 36 years probably because it has because it's 84 anyway um what was cool about these is they were one of the very first guitars ever to have a floyd rose on them and they were flat black. Very, very weird. Uh, as far as I know, the only ones that were ever flat black. So it's kind of an easy way to tell that your tremolo is original to the guitar. It's got a Schaller Golden 50 pickup, which is the original pickup. All this is original, by the way. Uh, I think one tuner went bad, so I had to replace one tuner, which is probably not an original, but I can't really tell. It's, I mean, what are you going to do? You can't play with a broken tuner, right? Also, I had to have it refretted, which diminishes the value care i play it it's a tool it's not meant to be hung up on a wall and admired as art although it is art it's absolutely beautiful and i, and I love to play it and i don't play it enough so i'm kind of glad i brought it in today i've been every time i get a minute in between customers i go in and noodle on it a little bit um the pickup on it's uh comparatively compared to the jb that i just did in this one over here it's a little bit of a weaker output uh not quite as strong as a jb um but boy the tone I'll, I'll sacrifice a little bit of gain for for the tone coming from this thing. It's absolutely incredible. Stays in tune. Plays plays really, really well. Still has all the original markings up inside the body that it's supposed to have. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, an absolutely incredible guitar. This one's in cream. I think there were three colors. There was white, cream, and I think the rarest one was black. Uh, I, I've never seen, uh, you know, something more desired, I guess, in a, in a Kramer community. There are other rarer guitars, of course because there's always one-offs all over the place. But when guys think of Kramer Beretta, this is usually the what they think of is this guy right here. Very, very cool neck. Also called, called the No Bozos guitar. This guitar was made famous by Eddie Van Halen in an advertisement in 1984, and he's holding it, and he's wearing a shirt that has the Bozo the Clown on it with a red slash through it, and it says No Bozos. So they call this the No Bozos guitar. He's holding it. And if you notice, by the, he's holding it by the neck. 
And down at the bottom it says, simply the best guitar you can buy today. But what was absolutely hilarious about to find out later is he's holding it by the neck up here on purpose and he's holding it away from himself. The paint wasn't even dry yet. They scheduled the photo shoot before the guitar was dry, so he's trying to hold it away from himself so the paint didn't, you know, get messed up from touching him. It's very, 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 very cool. Got to go to vintagekramer.com to read all these pretty cool stories. Um, shout out to Mike Wolverton. Does a great job with Vintage Kramer, uh, the, the owner of Vintage Kramer, among others. But uh, this is really, really cool, man. You got to read up on it. It's very, It's got a very, very cool history, uh, and there may not be... A lot of guitars that are out there now had this one not come first. And, of course, maybe without the endorsement of Eddie Van Halen. So, anyway, just a little insight into my first-gen Beretta. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're seeing this one before you see the brand-new 84 we got, make sure you check that one out. You know how you can know when we post that one or when we post this one? By subscribing, and you hit the little bell, and then every time we post something, bing, it goes like that. That's the exact sound, too. I sampled it just now. So it's going to do that every time we post something cool. So make sure you hit that little bell. All right? Thanks, you guys, for sticking around. As always, we're going to keep coming with Kramer content because I love them. And it doesn't seem like anybody else is doing them. So I'll take the reins. Let's go. Kramer. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Tell us things. Let me tell you all the things. Here it comes. Intro. Ladies and gentlemen. Wait.